The next day, Mr. Slade, the manager of Cody's Pony Express Station, assigned me to duty on the road from Red Buttes on the North Platte to the three crossings of the Sweetwater, a distance of 76 miles, and I began riding at once. One day when I galloped into Three Crossings, my home station, I found that the rider who was expected to take the trip out on my arrival had gotten into a drunken row the night before and had been killed, and that there was no one to fill his place. I did not hesitate for a moment to undertake an extra ride of 85 miles to Rocky Ridge, and I arrived at the latter place on time. I then turned back and rode to Red Buttes, my starting place, accomplishing on the round trip a distance of 322 miles. Slade heard of this feat of mine, and one day, as he was passing on a coach, he sang out to me, My boy, you're a brick, and no mistake. That was a good run you made when you rode your own and Miller's routes, and I'll see that you get extra pay for it. Slade, although rough at times and always a dangerous character, having killed many a man, was always kind to me. During the two years that I worked for him as Pony Express rider and stage driver, he never spoke an angry word to me. As I was leaving Horse Creek one day, a party of 15 Indians jumped me in a sand ravine about a mile west of the station. They fired at me repeatedly, but missed their mark. I was mounted on a roan California horse, the fleetest steed I had, putting spurs and whip to him and lying flat on his back. I kept straight on for Sweetwater Bridge, 11 miles distant, instead of trying to turn back to Horse Creek. The Indians came on in hot pursuit, but my horse soon got away from them and ran into the station two miles ahead of them. The stock tender had been killed there that morning, and all the stock had been driven off by the Indians, and as I was therefore unable to change horses, I continued on to Plout's station, 12 miles further thus making 24 miles straight run with one horse. I told the people at Plouts's what had happened at Sweetwater Bridge, and with a fresh horse, went on and finished the trip without any further adventure. About the middle of September, the Indians became very troublesome on the line of the stage road along the Sweetwater. Between Split Rock and Three Crossings, they robbed a stage killed the driver and two passengers, and badly wounded Lieutenant Flowers, the assistant division agent. The redskin thieves also drove off the stock from the different stations and were continually lying in wait for the passing stages and Pony Express riders, so that we had to take many desperate chances in running the gauntlet. The Indians had now become so bad and had stolen so much stock that it was decided to stop the Pony Express for at least six weeks and to run the stages, but occasionally during that period, in fact, it would have been almost impossible to have run the Enterprise much longer without restocking the line. 